In this video, we're just going to focus on learning objective B and multiply rational expressions that are made up of monomials. Example 3 down here is made up of monomials. And what we're going to do is multiply these two fractions together. Remember, when you multiply fractions together, you just multiply straight across. So we can actually re rewrite this as 4x squared over 3x and we just times it by the 9x and it's 8x to the fifth. So this looks like a problem that we did back in chapter 6. Remember all you do is we can combine everything here on the top. Just crunch it together using property of exponents. So I'm going to do 4 times 9 is 36 and x squared with another x would be x to the third. On the bottom I can do 3 times 8 is 24 and I can bring an x to the first and an x to the fifth together to get x to the sixth. Now remember, this is really just a chapter six question. To simplify it, I can only have one x. I have two x's. So what you do in this case is you would subtract. If you subtract, what you'd have would be three minus six, or you'd have x to the negative third. And then we'd still have the 36 over 24. We cannot have negative exponents, so what you would do now in this case is you would bring this down. So we'd have 36 and then 24, x to the third. Now, you may have just did a shortcut back in this step. You might have just said, I'm going to cross off 3 on the top, cross off 3 in the bottom, and that would actually leave you with this scenario here. The last thing you need to do is to check and see, can you pull out any common numbers from 36 and 24? The largest multiple they have in common would be, be a 12. So you can actually pull a 12 out of both. 36 divided by 12 would be 3. 24 divided by 12 is 2. And then x cubed is on the bottom. Now, be careful. Sometimes with 36 and 24, it's hard to see the 12. You may have said maybe you can pull 4 out of both of those. So let me show you what would happen. If you pulled 4 out, 36 divided by 4 is 9. 24 divided by 4 would be 6. All you'd have to do is further simplify 9 over 6 by pulling a 3 out of it, which would give you 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, which would end up giving you this numerical fraction we have here. Now here's another one. Simplify these two monomials. Again, this top is considered a monomial because it's one group of just a 3x. This is a monomial. This is and this is. All you do for multiplication is put them all together on the top. So 3x times 7x over 14 times 6x cubed. Now, one of the things you can do, if you'd like, you can start simplifying the numbers up front. Maybe you want to say simplify between 3 and 6. What you could do is take a 3 out. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. You could also notice 7 and 14. So you could pull out a 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So now what we're going to have on the top, in terms of numbers, is 1 times 1. It's 1. I have an x and an x, which gives me an x squared. On the bottom, I'd have 2 times 2, which is 4, and an x cubed. Now be careful. What I'm going to do is cross off the x squared on the top. That gets rid of 2x's. Down here, I'm going to get rid of 2, so I'm down to 1. So what I'm left with is 1 on the top, a 4, and an x to the first power, or just a single x. And that's considered simplified. Again, just like we learned in chapter 6. Let's look at two more. Just simplify this basic rational expression. Um, only thing you can do to letter A is you can pull out a 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 divided by 3, or 15 is 3. So you're left with 3x over 1, which we normally just write as 3x. Letter C here, we can simplify the numbers. We have a 6 over 14. Um, for sure they have a 2 in common, so I'm going to take 6 divided by 2 and get 3. 14 divided by 2 and get 7. Now there's 1x on the t 
top and two on the bottom. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to have two here, so I'm just going to have one left over. So the answer is going to be a 3 on the top and a 7x. Now this slide we're going to skip because I have to tell you this. This is not considered a monomial. Let me show you the difference. This right here is one big term on the top. It's two pieces. It's a binomial. We have to treat that differently. This is what chapter 9 is about. Let's look at this last slide. Number 2 is this learning objective where we have a monomial. Again, number 3 we can't do yet because this right here, 9x is a monomial, 12 is a monomial, but x plus 1 is a binomial. That's what chapter 9 is about and we have to take that more carefully. However, number 2 we can do. This is basic chapter 6. The only simplification we can do is take a 4 out. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So what we're left here with is 2x. And that's how you simplify monomials.